Inside a garage at San Jose State University's Spartan Superway Design Center, experts from around the world have come together to share ideas about something that resembles a futuristic amusement park ride, the pod car. Pod cars are already in operation at five places around the world, including London's Heathrow Airport and Morgantown, West Virginia. But transportation experts here are pushing for more, and with nearly 50 students involved, San Jose State may have the largest university pod car project in the world. San Jose students designed and built this pod car within one year. It's the only pod car in the world that rides suspended on a guide rail. Right now, everything competes on the same plane. That's pedestrians, bicyclists, automobiles, buses, light rail, everything's there. And if they can collide, they will collide. It's just a matter of probability. So that's one thing is using vertical space, which is untapped now. The student-built pod car is also the only one in the world designed to run entirely off solar power. And unlike trains or monorails, pod cars are actually capable of doing the rail switching from within the car itself. It seeks to be an automated cloud-based system that allows for a more personalized ride. It's like a spider web. You can pick any point along that web and go straight there. You may pass stations along the way because you have to follow the track, but you don't have to stop at those individual stations. Nanzhen Yang, the CEO of Beijing-based TubeNet Transit, says his company will be launching a test of its new pod car system in southern China next year. And with China's huge population, if we only use traditional cars and current transportation, we will not be able to resolve our transit problems. There's a political will that needs to happen. I think people need to be fed up enough with the problems with urban transportation to want to say, look, we need some other solutions besides what's happening right now. San Jose State students have created this model of how their system might look. Professor Furman says potential suppliers for a full-size demo are ready to go but that it's now a matter of getting industry and government together to make it a reality. Mark New, CCTV, San Jose, California.